Hi, in my last video, I spoke about how do you start teaching PMP, how do you get, um, you know, TTT from an ATP, and I walked you through what is the process of uh, acquiring the TTT, which is the important step to start teaching PMP from PMI. Um, if you have any questions, you can write to me on that and uh, I'm going to write uh, the YouTube video URL in the description as well. Today, we're going to focus on what happens after you become a TTT. What happens after you have acquired your TTT badge? Now what? Um, so the first thing, you're going to get an official PMP curriculum. Um, this official PMP curriculum is 99 US dollars. Um, talk to your ATP and they're going to give you or allocate you the official PMP curriculum. It never expires for an instructor. So whenever there is a course change, whenever PMI is going to update any curriculum, you're going to get the new official copy using the same login credentials. Um, so go ahead and buy that. That is very, very important for you to have that as an instructor. Few of the ATP gonna have some markup because there's gonna be you know some kind of processing fee and so on. So talk to your ATP as to how much you're gonna get that uh, kit or not. So general generally it should vary between 120 US dollars to 150 US dollars. So that's first step. Now, um, once now you are equipped, you have got the uh, you know TTT badge. You can train the people. You have official PMI curriculum as well. Now, what next? You need to start thinking of getting people to start your new badge. Um, for new badge, you also need to think about obviously how to acquire people. We're gonna talk about that in the next slide. Uh, I'm talking about the material first. Whenever you are thinking of a new batch, you need to again give a student material to your batch people. Based on the region, um, this is again 99 US dollars for regions like US, Canada and so on. And this could be 39 US dollars for region like India. So again, talk to your ATP, find out which region are you talking about. And then there's going to be some marker fee of 10 to 20 USDs. And you're going to get that uh, material. This material which you get per, is per student, which means if you're going to have five students in your batch, you need five material for you. PMI has changed their um, website and process. Now, earlier, there used to be a coupon or some kind of code which people used to get. Now, instead of that, your ATP is going to allocate the material to the email of student directly. So again, uh, based on the ATP, there's going to be processing fee and stuff like that. And your student can directly access once they receive the mail from the ATP. Understand, you as a PMP trainer has to bridge the ATP with ATP to talk to PMI. So, um, you are the TTT uh, for PMP. So if you need material for yourself, it has to route through ATP. If you need material for your student, again, it has to route through ATP. So the ATP hub comes into the picture because PMI understand the relationship with ATP and they have, uh, you know, the ongoing um, logins and all of that. Now, what is the cost? I told you about the cost based on the region. Um, again, talk to your ATP, work with your ATP. You can work with um, many ATPs. So this is also very interesting. Let's talk about how do you gonna be working with different ATPs. Um, so I'm gonna talk about here. If you have acquired a certification, let's say from the TTT from uh, ATP 1, you can go ahead and start giving trainings 
to any other um, student batch etc through another ATP so you can um, license with ATP 2 as well or ATP 3 or as many ATPs if you want to if you want to directly give training to a student let's say retail batch then you can go ahead and do trainings for retail batch however for student uh, instructor material student material not instructor student copy of the material reference material like as i told you pm box has gone away pmi generally create their own material for instructor for pmp as well as for student to refer for pmp exam so you need to license with any of the atp you can work with this atp your older one or any new ATP whoever gives you better rate and then assign that you know um, course kit to your student so that is how you can uh, work with different ATPs you can work with different organization and can teach if you are just teaching a course which is not PMP it is just a you know foundation on project management then you don't need any ATP you can go ahead and create your own course talk to people and then you know uh, give the training if you are thinking about CAPM and um, you want to give trainings on CAPM nowadays PMI also have an official curriculum on CAPM you can get in touch with your ATP get that and you can also work with your ATP to teach the official um, curriculum given by PMI if you don't want to do that for CAPM you can create your own curriculum and you can start teaching CAPM independently you don't need ATP for that PMP ATP is must okay we spoke about this now how do you um now we we spoke about you know the material the uh, infrastructure which you need you need adps to get your student copy understand student material the access of the student is only for one year you do not have so so your access to instructor copy never expires it is available all throughout but for a student it expires after one year um, so tell your student that your copy the moment it's gonna get enabled it will expire after one year exactly um, how do you want to get started to launch your own badge uh, work with your community you would have some people already within your community when you are practicing talk to them and then they become your instructor host your website or go to things like you know all events or events.com or book my show create your event or create any you know paytm collaborator create your event out there so that you would have some means of getting the payment and publishing your event called pmp workshop um, can you do a self-study course what about self-study course no you cannot self-study course you cannot launch as a ttt it is a violation of privacy it is a violation of rules by pmi i also as an atp cannot launch a self-study pmp course so if you are a ttt and if you are doing a self-study course let's say on udemy or some other website and someone complains then you might lose your license of TTT so do not do self-study what you can do is you can have some hybrid course you can have some part of the self-study some part of the workshop and so on because PMI has a sole right on the self-study you cannot do that um, so that is on the self-study um, after that so once you have done that wait for people to collaborate give you you know you would have some dates because we're talking about workshop as i told you there's no self-study thing which you can do um once the event has come in your batch is launched there is a date people are gonna come to you before that you need to give them the uh, courseware so give them the course access through the ATP as I told you earlier and people should have access to the uh, the course 
um, you may want to think about the books or the test prep kit which you would want to give to your student now PMI also gives the self-study plus um, a test prep kit I've not seen that kit but there is a test kit also um, the self the the course is um, the course without the test kit comes with 99 US dollar this is the pricing as on today uh, the course with test prep kit comes in 169 US dollars I think so again keep in mind there's gonna be some kind of buffer which your EDP gonna add so you can take you know whichever one works for you and your student um, you also need to think of the certificate what kind of certificate you would want to give to your student um, so make a certificate you should have highlighted that you are a TTT your PMI ID um, and 35 PDU certificate which makes them that these are the people whom you have taught um, you should also have an evidence that you have taught these people so have attendance of these people have signature digital signature some kind of video recording so that if at all your student comes and audit then you should be able to provide that at attendance or that evidence um, you may need to think about after support or you know test um, full length test which you need to give to your students so work with your ATP either the ATP can provide you the you know full length test PMI also offers some kind of testing solution for example there is an application which PMI has you can ask your student to download that application uh, from PMI for testing um, PMI as I told you has also the um, you know student material with a test so you can buy that and give that to your student so you need to decide how do you want to work with your student to enable them to pass the PMP exam um, if you have any questions you can talk to me at help at kavitasharma.net I'm available and um, if you need any help I'm there Thank you for listening in and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.